impact is what they count in the spirit realm. So what impact are you making while you live? Stop counting your age. Start counting your impact. Welcome. This is Apostolic Charge Broadcast with Apostle Lawrence Bamilo. Stay charged to be in charge. Naturally, when it comes getting to the end of the year, prayer increase tensions everywhere. Oh, just calm down. You are like that widow of Sarifat that was about to eat her last meal and her son, and they are waiting for death. But they came in contact with the anointing for overflow. Get ready for overflow experience because what is insufficient is going to be more than enough to feed you and also to feed more than a nation. Welcome to Apostle Chat Broadcast on Agent Television. This is Apostle Lawrence Bamilo. Don't ever let anything put you under prayer to the point that you now become depressed and you want to commit suicide. No, 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 no. no. That's not the next thing for you to do. There is an adage in this part of the world that where there is a killer, there is also a savior. There might be pain in your body, there might be bills to pay, and yet there is no money. You have a project that is standing still and not moving, and yet you are believing God. When will this be done? You had a plan at the beginning of this year that by so, 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 so time, this should have been done, this should have been done, and things are not moving the way they are supposed to. Calm down and relax because this broadcast is for you. God asked me to tell you, welcome to your season of overflow. Your little is about to turn abundant. Remember the story of widow of Sarifat. It was just to prepare snack for her son and then they would die because there was famine in the land. It doesn't matter the economic situation of your country or continent. If you will believe, all things are possible to them that believe. But the moment the widow of Sarifat came in contact with the anointing for overflow through the ministry of Elijah, everything turned around. What was supposed to turn upside down, turned around. This little in your hand is about to overflow. You will have more than enough. Those who have gathered and mock you behind you and in front of you, that what can your little become? What can your little produce? What can your little do? What can you amount to? Relax. By the reason of this declaration, you will have more than enough. You will have overflow. Overflow of abundance. It prepares a table before you in the presence of your mocker, your enemy, those who doesn't like you, those who are emotionally overclouded, those who just have certain expectations that you shouldn't be at this level of greatness by now, those who have certain expectations that your life should not move forward, maybe because they knew you when you were young and they felt like God is too good to you and God is taking you too fast. <laughs> they have not seen anything because God is about to take you further than where you are. Get ready for anointing for overflow. He prepared a table in the presence of my enemy. And he anointed me and my cup run over. My cup overflow. Your cup is about to overflow. Your little is about to become abundance. Will you stretch forth your faith right now? Stretch forth your two hands and say, Father, the little in my hand I present to you, let it overflow. I key into the covenant of overflow through your servant. I position my father. Family, I position my life, I position my ministry. This time last year, a man has been fasting and praying. So his wife told him, I said, don't kill yourself, please, don't kill yourself. So they put a call through the prayer line. And then he said, after you prayed for me, sir. <laughs> a friend remembered me from another country and continent. And the friend said, I'm looking for who I want to invest through. And your name just dropped on my mind. Long story cut short. The man sent over 9 million Nigerian currency as at that time. That's about 11,000 US dollars as at this time last year. And he bought a big luxurious bus to start a commercial business. You see, God can change anybody's story at any time. And your own time is now. So get ready for overflow. The Lord is about to compress all what January till now was supposed to have delivered to you, the Lord is about to give you a bumper harvest, abundance, overflowing abundance in the name of Jesus. The end of the year for you, it's going to be harvest, bumper harvest, 
of different seed you have sown, effort you have made, hard work here and there, a little hard work there, a little hard work there, they are about to be compressed together and a bumper harvest is coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Step by step instruction how to enjoy this overflow. Jesus Christ look up to heaven. He knew what is on ground is small. He knew what is on ground cannot take care of even one person. <laughs> How do you expect a launch of a little boy feed over 5,000 men? Instruction number one, give thanks for what is on ground before you expect overflow. Give thanks. Thank God for what God is doing currently. The level you have currently is a prayer request of somebody somewhere. You see this little in your hand is somebody's breakthrough somewhere. So give thanks for what is in your hand. Jesus knew that this little need to overflow. Oh, but he looked up to heaven and gave thanks. After he gave thanks, then he made a demand on the covenant of abundance, covenant of overflowing blessing. So are you ready? Open your mouth where you are right now and give thanks for the level you are. Say, Father, I acknowledge it. I am not going to minimize it because of what I need right now. I thank you for the current level I am. I thank you for what you have been doing since the beginning of the year. I thank you for numerous provision. I thank you for seeing me through as those critical hours when I needed you most. I am not so carried away the time you rescued my family. The time you rescued me at one point. You remember what God has done for you. Open your mouth and give thanks. Say, Father, I am grateful. I'm never a great fool. Give thanks for what is available so you can attract what is not available. Father, I am grateful. Reko darabakushi. Nembre megos. Father, we are grateful. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now, step number two. Jesus Christ is the one that have the multiplying effect to multiply this little one grand and it will give you overflow. Okay, now, you shut the door against Jesus. You have shut the door against miracle. No matter how fireful any man is, he's still calling the name Jesus. Forget about the one that are fake. Will you want to reconcile with Jesus or you give your life to Jesus properly? Put your right hand on your chest as a sign of surrender. Say, Father, I am a sinner. I am stranded. I'm in a tight corner. My life needs you most right now. And I humble myself. I acknowledge myself a sinner that I don't even deserve your mercy. I don't deserve your forgiveness. But I know you are able to show me mercy. Please forgive me. I promise from now I will serve and do your will. In Jesus' name I've prayed. I prophesy that may the Lord show you mercy, clean you, and give you a new beginning right now in the name of Jesus. Now go to a church where they are preaching the word of God. Join them so you can start growing. Join workers in the church. If you serve God, God will service you. Now finally, remember that little boy. He gave the little he had. When what is in your hand is not sufficient, it is time to turn it to a seed. Because when you sow a seed in the ground, a fertile ground, then it grew and give you multiple harvest. The widow of Sarifa that I told you the other time, she had only what she was supposed to eat and her son and die. And yet, prophet Elijah said, go ahead and prepare it for me and let me eat first. If it is in today of social media, they will drag you and tell you that. Say wicked men of God. And why will you see a woman that you are even supposed to give to? But you see the prophetic and supernatural, they work against the wisdom of men. Are you ready to obey God? This little in your hand, will you sow it right now? Go to your church this Sunday and drop a seed. And much more for the broadcast who has just been a blessing to you and open your heaven. And you see the little boy that gave his lunch to Jesus and fed over 5,000 people ended up going with 12 baskets of overflow. <laughs> the widow of Sarifat, after she gave a little, when the anointing came over it, she became a merchant from somebody that was supposed to eat and die. She became a seller. She was distributing oil and flour. And if the Lord is speaking to you to sow a seed according to the instructions and the message, oh God, here is my little. Please make use of the information on your screen and send the message or put a call through. I would like to pray with you. Your testimony will humble every one of us in the name of Jesus. I will see you in the next broadcast. Thank you for being part of this broadcast. This broadcast was brought to you by the continuous giving of friends and partners of Apostolic Grace Network Africa. To join the AGN Air Force, please visit apostolicgracenetwork.org or call 234-708-222-0300. Until next time, 
God bless you.